Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshuna Marita Jnana Taksmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sapitan Deva Bhutare Svayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Svapadam Tita Pandeham Sri Guru Sri Yutapada Kamala Sri Guru Vaishnava Cha Sri Rupam Sarkadatam Sahagana Raghunatam Pitantam Sajiva Sadvitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Sri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lavita Sri Visakam Yatimasya Hare Krishna Kaduna Sindhu Diva Bandha Jagatpate Gopi Sai Gopi Kakanta Radha Kanta Namasrita Tapakam Chana Gauravi Radha Vrindavani Shwari Prisavan Sriti Devi Paramami Hari Priya Panchaka Pataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Yare Vata Patitana Pravani Vyasa Vaishnavi Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Tavaruti Ananda Sia Dvita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaura Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Sala Prabhupada Ki Jai Sri Sri Papa Mochane Kadasi Ki Jai When we <coughs> when we look at uh, Brahma by Varta Prana from where a courtesy pastimes is directed. There's so many <coughs> blessings which seems material. If you do this a courtesy you get this kingdom, you get this position you go to heavenly planet, you get all these things. So when you look at it, you look, we are devotees, we are not interested in going to heavenly planet. So why am I fast? Why should I fast? Oh, I don't want to get the, the Brahma's position. Or oh, not just to attune for my sinful activities. Parikshit Maharaj has already Refuse Payastita. Payastita, a too many is not so wonderful. No intelligent person should do that. We should go for eternal atonement, eternal permanent atonement. It's Krishna consciousness. In the Prima by Varta, Prima by Varta. Jagadananda Pandit, he explains all the vrats, all the vrats which we take, uh, or prayaschita, sorry, prayaschita, is like when you cut a tree, if you cut a tree, if you cut a tree down, the top will go down. Mm. The root is still there. And there are so many life trees. In fact, there are some trees. The better you cut them, the, 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 the more you cut them, the better they become, like a sock tree. If you want a soccer tree to, to big, you cut it. Because it's, it, it's very slim. So you go, and when, when rain falls, it's very, very dangerous. A sock tree, you, you have not experienced. A sock tree can burn. So if you want it to be strong, you cut it, then it, then it will expand. If you cut it, it will expand. And then it grow. when it grows big, the, the breeze cannot bend it down again. So some trees are like that. And prayas is like that, you are cutting off a tree. <coughs> so Jagadananda Pandit said, the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra <coughs> is uprooting the tree. Therefore, 
It is the best process of atonement. The best. Because the tree is uprooted with, from the root. So there is no question of germinating again. Uprooted. And for we who are farmers, we have the experience. You remove the grass from the root. You don't cut it this way. You remove it from the okay. Then the chance of it germinating is not there. So Prayashita is not so wonderful for intelligent person. If you do this, this offense, you do this jagya, you atone for it. It's not the best. But Krishna consciousness is the supreme process of atonement. It's uprooting the, the root of our sins, the root of uprooting the seed of sin. So there is no question of germinating. And Lord Brahma, he said that in Brahma Samhita. Nirdahati kentu chad bhakti bhajan. Nirdahati kentu chad bhakti bhajan. Lord the result of our sinful activity to condition souls. But he doesn't do that for devotees. For devotees, Krishna grind the seed, he fry the seed so it doesn't germinate. That is devotion and self. That is Krishna consciousness. So we are on the safe side. So with this, with this understanding, one, one may wonder. So I pass for Kadasi to atone for having offended a Brahmana or having stolen something. But actually, a Kadasi is not only for this. A Kadasi is a costless mercy of Krishna. And the currency appeared from Krishna's body. <clears throat> when Krishna visited Yamaraj, this is this is a narration from uh, narration given by Sri Bhakti Nottako. Lord Krishna visited Yamaraj and while he was there <laughs> Krishna was hearing the ag agonizing cry agony the, the word agony when the, when, when the suffering is too much it is called agony the suffering is too much agony it is painful excruciating pain unbearable pain that is agony so Krishna was hearing this from one direction so Krishna asked him what is that it, it's not that Krishna doesn't know he knows this will help us understand how Krishna is very very kind Krishna is very merciful so Krishna was hearing this sound it's, it's, what, what is that sound where is it coming from? Of course, Krishna was, was not hearing the conversation he was having with Yamaraj. His attention went to that because agonizing cry gives pain to a, a person who is very sober. Even a hard hearted person will feel it. You feel it. So Krishna was feeling that. And because he was feeling that, his attention diverted to the cries. He was not hearing Yamaraj properly. So Yamaraj told Krishna, it is my men torturing sinful people for their sinful activities. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how, how you feel? Just, just, just mentally feel it. You have been given a melted iron to drink. How will you feel about it? Melted iron. Melted iron is melted into liquid and you are, you are forced to drink it. How will you feel? Hmm? This is the situation in the hellish planet. We are sitting comfortable now, we don't feel that. So we don't we don't think that hell is real. But <laughs> It is real, it is happening. Someone asked La Prabhupada, Swamiji, suppose you you die and there is no hell, what will you do? 
Ils sont durs. Tu veux bitch, tu veux avoir une money walk up and money walk at the beach. And she has a replied. Suppose after death and you know that hell is real, what will you do? <laughs> <laughs> it will be late for you to decide. So it's better now to accept it that it is real. So melted iron, iron is melted into liquid. And you are forced to drink it. You are forced to drink it when you see your madutas, they, they are not handsome. The hairs on their body is like nails. Your head, you can, you can <coughs> plait it, you can fry it, you can bend it and tie it up. But your madutas hair is nails. Nails standing. And their, their teeth, <laughs> their teeth is outside. It's not outside. It's, it's outside. It's not inside. It's outside. And they don't dress like they have a nice dirty nice saris. You know. It is tiger skin they wear as their dress. And their trident is horrible. When such, such beings come before you and give me order, do you, do you have a second choice? Even to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Yeah. You forget that. Just that presence only will make you forget everything. And one is tied up. Your hands and feet are tied. The mouth is open to drink the liquid. Iron. So th this is experience in, in the hellish planet and they were crying in drinking. Do we cry when we drink alcohol? Do people cry when they are drinking alcohol? What do we call it? Enjoyment. But then in, here we buy the alcohol. But Yamadutas will give us free. We don't have to pay for it. Neither do we have to take a cab or whatever, go a distance to go and get it to a friend. You get it right there. See, it's terrible to experience. <coughs> so when Yamaraz explained to Krishna what was happening, Krishna was very, very concerned about our welfare. Therefore, Krishna was thinking what should I do to relieve sin sinners from their sinful reaction, which is extremely painful? Krishna was thinking about that. And when Krishna left Yama Yamaraja board, he was going, thinking and thinking and thinking what to do to help us. Murasura approached Krishna for a fight. But Krishna's concern was about how to help him, in including him, the demon who is attacking. This is attacking the Supreme Person of God. We are attacking Krishna, but there are also fortunate souls who attack Krishna directly, like demons, like Krishna killed them. I say fortunate because they are directly killed by Krishna and they have blessing. Not all the demons are directly killed by Krishna. According to Varaha Purana, the demons Krishna didn't kill 
were given blessing to be Brahmanas in Kali Yuga. But the demon Krishna came, are they not fortunate? Yes. To be going Brahman in Kali Yuga <coughs> means what? So to fill their belly with chapatis and chapati Brahmanas. So we are demon, Krishna didn't kill. So we are unfortunate. The fortunate one, Krishna killed them. So they get liberated. So Krishna didn't mind this. He was concerned how to help, how to help us. So Krishna didn't look at this Murasura. And Krishna, Krishna entered a cave and lie down. Resting so he could c come to the conclusion what to do. If you have something which is very, very tasking, very, very, very difficult, and you're having difficult to resolve it, if you're thinking about that thing, sit and pray and sleep, you'll get the answer when you wake up. So, Rokisha entered the cave and was resting. Murashura entered there. Seeing Krishna lying down, he laughed. And he started rebuking Krishna. You are not sleeping, you are a coward. You don't want to fight with me, so you are pretending to sleep. But because you are pretending to you are not sleeping, I will kill you. He knows the, he knows the, the etiquette that you don't kill someone who is sleeping. And you don't fight with someone who doesn't have the same equipment with you. If the person is fighting with, with, with fighting with hands, you use hand in fighting. If you use a weapon, you use weapon. So a sleeping person, of course, weapon is easy. So Murasura said, "You are not sleeping; you are pretending." See, so while he was preparing to attack Lord Krishna, from Krishna's left side, a female lady came up. A lady came up from from Krishna's body well equipped with weapons and fought this uh, surah sura, and killed the demon by the time by the time she killed the demon Murasura was killed by a lady who came out from Krishna's body when that happened then Krishna woke up and the lady was standing with folded hands begging Krishna, offering obeisances. Lord Krishna said, who are you? He said, I'm your Shakti. This demon was disturbing your, your peaceful sleep. Peaceful sleep. And because of that, I killed him. So Krishna said, oh, very good. So he said, so now what is my next service? So Krishna said, because today is the 11th day of the moon, so her name is Ekadasi. And your duty is to help all conditioned souls who will observe you to easily get free from their sin and attain Bhakti for them. So Ekadasi gives Krishna prayer. If you fast on Ekadasi, it, it purifies those who observe Ekadasi. She came to purify us. So Krishna gave her this service. Today is the 11th day of the moon. So your name is Ekadasi. As soon as the service was given to, to her, Ekadasi bowed onto Lord Krishna and immediately started searching for Papa Purusha. She found the Papa Purusha. And she started chasing Papa Purusha. Papa Purusha was running everywhere. Ekadasi followed him. Papa Purusha is the same person. All the sinful activities we are doing is a person. Papa Purusha ran everywhere looking for shelter. There was no shelter. <coughs> anywhere he went. Ekadasi followed him there. And then he came and met Krishna. He complained, Krishna, you gave me this service. But see, 
this lady is after me. So Lokesha told him, yes, this is my energy. It's to help people. It's to help people who are sinful to get purified. That is the service I have given to her. Therefore, she will appear only two times in a month. The eleven waxing and the eleven wedding. So those two days, you should enter into grains. She will not go there. Therefore, it is very dangerous to eat grains on the cadastre. Because Papa Prusa is inside. Two days in a month, she enters into grains. In this way, she, he was protected. This is how Kesa resolved. And this morning, we were discussing how among the ways things are easily resolved, and there's no, there's, there's, there's no conflict. Is not dangerous. Conflict is not dangerous for devotees. For non devotees, it's dangerous because devotees easily amen whatever difficulties is there. Therefore, if a devotee or devotees are having issue which is not resolved. We should understand it is not because of bhakti, it is because of false ego. Only false ego. If there is bhakti, conflict will not remain. Conflict will become a, a synergy. And opportunity for us to increase love for each other. To increase affection for each other. To increase understanding among ourselves. So Lokrishna resolved the issue very nicely. A karasi will come two times in a month, two days in a month. So on those on those two days you enter into grace. She will not disturb you. So she will do her duty and you will do your duty. Nicely resolved. To know how important the karasi is to know how important the Kadasi is. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established that principle. In Jagannath Puri, not in Vrindavan, not in Navadip, Mayapur, in Jagannath Puri. We are saying specifically Jagannath Puri because this is a place for eating. Lokesha has his place for sleeping, he has his place for eating. He has his place for austerity. Krishna has his specific places, different forms. Jagannath Puri is a place for eating, not for sleeping, for eating. It is there in the place of eating that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the order on the day of a Kadasi, one should not think of food. One should only chant Hare Krishna mantra, hear about Lord Krishna. Jagadananda Pandit recorded in his book Prem Bibarta. Prem Bibarta. Bibarta means <coughs> when the when 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 the love melt Grada and Krishna melt into 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 one. That is Jagannath. Hello Jagannath. You understand? Jagannath is Bibarta. Bivarta. The love of Krishna and the love of Srimati Radharani, when, when they merge together, that is Lord Jagannath. And for that reason, the Jitam who stays in Jagannath Puri. And he was doing what? He was tasting that brain every day. So a day in Jagannath Puri, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave order, do not eat grains on the kara, even if it is Maha Prasada, do not eat, keep it for the dwellers. 
keep my personal for the others. One should not remember food on the Kadasi day. <coughs> and our chariots recommend if you want to transcend, one of the things to, for us to do to transcend inattentiveness is the Kadasi fasting. So important, so powerful. Not only is Chitamu is speaking about it, and then, then yeah, still within Chitamu. Chitamu asks, my dear mother, I need one boon from you. But I started to say, yes, ask me. See, Chitamu have to say, my dear mother, do not eat grace in the catacity, even in the dream. Why Chitamu are you doing this? Because the catacity is very important. The Christian has established this to help us. At his costless mercy, we didn't ask him, but he established this just to help us. A courtesy. So auspicious, so wonderful. This is Shaitan Mahaprabhu. We are talking about Shaitan Mahaprabhu. What about Srimati Radharani? When the Jagasitas, Jagasitas, Jagasitas are the sitters from Lormachanda performing Jagya, when Sita Devi left, Lord Ramchanda performed Jagya. And as a satira, you can't do sacrifice without your wife. So he will mold image and keep by his side when he's doing Jagya. When he finished the Jagya, all those images became life, life, human. So they are Jagya sitters. And they approached Lord Chanda, went to have union. Oh, no. Why? I took back to marry one wife. Yes, we are sitters. We sat with you for Jagya. Who sat with you? Not your wife? Yes. Say so we have right. So my son is oh what a need. Okay. And I will I will come back and do up a yoga. That time I will satisfy you. So you hear Brother and Katayani brat, the, the gopis perform. This gopis who perform this, they are not from Goloka. They are from here. They join Christian from here. Jagya Sitas, the Sutis. These are the Sutis. Vedas personified. Jagya Sitas. Many things happen in one place. You join Krishna from here. Two, two, two sets of gopis. Are there. The gopis who come with Krishna and the gopis who are joining Krishna. Some years ago, in a Vyasa Puja of His Holiness Gorgo Maharaj, so one of his god brother was speaking about him, and he said, Gorgo Maharaj said something which he did not agree. He challenged him. Proper didn't say it like this. And what was it? To practice Christian consciousness, you need to have Indian body. So no, proper didn't say it like this. For me, I don't have difficulty with that. Why? If we are if we are understanding our scriptures carefully, we won't have difficulty. Our difficulty is due to misunderstanding, ignorance. What did our scriptures say? What do we hear from our scripture, Vacharya? When a soul becomes perfect to go back to Godhead, you don't go back to Goloka Vrindavan here, you go to Gokul Vrindavan, you meet Christian where he is performing his pastime here in the material world. Which body? Which body is that? Yes. So, what's the difficulty?
When you join with Krishna in the planet, he's performing his pastime. Where? Where is that? In Brindavan. Which body? Which body? Yes. So it's not really, let's say, okay, let really, it's not really like Indian body. Not really Indian body. It's a spiritual body. But the spiritual body looks like, like here. Is it not? So it's this misunderstanding that one would say, oh, why you say like that? Why are you discriminating? It is not a discrimination. It is a reality. You are going to join Krishna with a gopi or gopa's body. A gopi or gopa's body. That's the body. You're right? Is it clear? Yes. That's the body that you're going to use to join Krishna with. <laughs> So when he was speaking like this, I was looking at him and I said, I didn't talk to him, but in my mind I was saying, if you, if you understand, maybe, maybe we will have action to explain. They will have explained it. Because if you just say something in the code, not every person, that is, that, that is Sutra. Sutra is a code. need to be explained so you have purpose there is purpose purpose mm -hmm. explanation for everything uh, 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 for the the world which which is locked is locked up in the, in the locket you have to open it that is purpose to open that so that everybody can understand what is inside the locket you don't understand until it's open right so this is Mm. The understanding. So Shimati Radani, so all, all these all the Jakya sitas now they are gopis. And the Shrutis, they are also gopis. And Lord Krishna's queens, Lord Krishna's queens in Dwaraka, when Krishna left. The queens were feeling suppression from Krishna. They also met the material and, and asked, they are so dear, so dear, so dear to Krishna. Hmm? How can we become dear to also Krishna like he was? How can we become dear? We want to become dear, not to push you away. Hmm? Not to push you away and be on the front. As to what you are doing, you are, you are, the quality of devotion is so nice. We we appreciate. We want to be like like this. How can we do that? So Matira then he said, "Oh, if you want this, a kadasi, a kadasi." The gopi said, "Okay, we agree. We agree that we we'll do a kadasi. Can you tell us? Can you tell us?" Has anyone ever did this before? Or we are just beginning? Is an example? This is how we understand anything which is important, anything which is authentic. You have reference. You have a reference. That I'm speaking from such as well. It's about to not a Quran narration from the scripture, Bhagavatam. According to the gopis. So the gopis they ask, is there any reference? Has anyone done this before? Simati Rani said yes. Lord Ramachanda was a Kadasi. Ramachanda, Bhagwan, he observed the Kadasi. To cross Lanka to kill Ravana, he observed the Kadasi. So I'm requesting you to do the same, following in the first step and say, ah, okay. Okay, so we have example. We have, we have. We have, we have an acharya we are looking up to. Okay. Then the next question was, so how do we do that? And Srimati Rani gave detail. A day before a kadasi, it wants. In your house, not, in, not outside your house. <laughs> A day of a kadasi, no food. And the day after a kadasi, you eat also once. The day of a kadasi, don't, don't see envious people. 
Blasphemer, don't look at their face. In, in other words, what is he saying? Don't go out, stay in the temple. So you don't see in Jesus. That's, 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 the, that's the, the meaning. Be with devotees, don't go and see any people. Then, don't sleep on the bed. But your shoulder did this. To have Krishna as a son, she did it. For one year, not sleeping on the, on the bed, on the floor. Can you imagine? Huh? We should understand what is bhakti, how to become a bhakta. The pure devotee of Krishna. We should know the principle. So, a courtesy austerity is to reduce the demands of this body and increase the spiritual demand. Let's say austerity. Bogatiaga, Krishna Pritya. The sacrifice to please Lord Krishna. We give our same application to please Krishna, to give Krishna pleasure. What does it mean? Is our sinful activity disturbing Krishna? No, it has nothing to do with it. So why will austerity please Krishna? Krishna feels very happy that now we are reducing sin gratification attachment to material sin. We are, we are becoming sensible. We are going back home, back to Godhead. We are coming back to Him. He gave Krishna pleasure. Krishna feels very happy <coughs> that we are becoming devotees. Devotees feel very happy when we see devotees becoming devotees. People becoming devoted. Devotees feel happy. Krishna feels very happy. That is why Bhagavata says, one who explains this knowledge to the devotees is the best, very dear to me. In the past, present, and the future. No one can be ever dear to me like this. Who is helping people to come back home, back to God. Hmm? This austerity makes the one very dear to Lord Krishna. So, Srimati is going to give details how to observe a currency. And they follow this for a complete year. The end of it, they have Rasa Dan for Krishna. This is a currency. So auspicious. So powerful. It's a purifying agent. There are so many things put up for purification. A kind of is studying the scriptures. One austerity of mm, speech, austerity of the body, austerity of the mind, austerity of mm, giving charity and, and visiting holy places, and parikramas, which we do, mm, studying the scriptures, sadhvaya, swadhyaya, swadhyaya. Mm. These austerities, all these, all these different, different branches of austerities. I guess I designed all these things just to help us. The currency is supreme. Then you look, when you look into it, the Bible Gita, chapter 9, text 14. So Papa said, Popot. There are certain days which are called demand, determined, like a currency gen master. Why determined? Why determine? Determine, determination means that we have to make up our mind to do it. Understanding the importance of a courtesy. And because it's also very purifying. Only a few people go there, so it's the determination. So happy a courtesy to all of you. And today is Pap Mochan Ekadasi. Yudhisthira Maharaj said, this is Brahma Bhagavata Puran. <coughs> it's very long, Arisha. I hope you will tolerate. If you are tired, let me know so I can stop. Oh Supreme Lord, I have heard from you the explanation of Amalaki Ekadasi which occurs during the light fortnight of the month of Falguna, February, March. And now I wish to hear about the courtesy 
that occurs during the dark fortnight to the month of Chaitra, March, April. What is its name? O oh Lord, and what result can one attain by observing it? The Supreme Personality of Godhead, <coughs> Lord Sri Krishna replied, O oh, best of kings, for the benefit of everyone, I shall gladly describe to you the glories of this ecstasy, which is known as Papamochan Ni. The history of this ecstasy was once narrated to the Emperor Mandata by Lomas Rishi. King Mandata addressed the Rishi, O oh, Great Sage. For the benefit, benefit of all people, please tell me the name of the Kadasi that occurs during the dark fortnight of the month of Chaitra. And please explain the process of observing it. Also, please describe the benefit one gains by observing this Kadasi. See the question? Yudhisa Maharaj and King Mandata. What is the question? For the benefit of everyone, can you tell us this pastime? The benefit of everyone. They say for the for my benefit, can you tell me this? In other words, devotees are selfless people. They are always living for others. They are not selfish. Loma Sarisi replied, the ekadasi that occurs during the dark fortnight of the month of Chaitra is named Papamochani Ekadasi for the faithful devotee. It removes the influences of ghosts and demons. Yesterday we visited Agasura and we said Agasura represents cruelty. And Cruelty and what? Envy. Before envy. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. This is examination for my lecture yesterday. Agasura represent what? Cruelty. And? Did you write it? I wrote how to overcome. When I ask the cruelty, nothing else, cruelty. Why are you asking me for something else? <coughs> I'm asking for something else because there was something else. Mm -hmm. You were saying when Agasura uh, opened his mouth, uh, his breath. Agasura represent what? Cruelty and what? Not preaching. I was giving explanation. You spoke about both, but I can remember I was talking about the last one. Agasura, just yesterday. Just yesterday. 
So we just carry me to go and speak for nothing. This is. This is I thought I was speaking to. This Agasura represent cruelty and give anxiety to others out of envy. Out of envy. So I was saying that if you don't preach Krishna consciously, this is cruelty. I mean, we are not relieving people from anxiety. Yes. <clears throat> so anyway, this is Is speaking now. I stop at the ghost. Mm -hmm. 